a newcomer to the world. He'll soon be on his way home, your home. In a few days, when you and your husband are taking him with you, he'll be all yours to love and care for. Now, all the directions which your doctor gave you and the classes which you may have attended during your pregnancy are proving their value during your stay in hospital. When you return home and take over as a full-time mother, the things which you have learned in hospital will be of great help to you and your baby. If you follow your doctor's recommendations on feeding and baby care, you'll have a healthy, happy baby. And if you continue with the proper diet, exercises, and rest, you'll be able to enjoy your baby and the pleasure in being a mother. Well before the baby is due, pack a suitcase with clothes to bring him home in and everything that you'll need in the hospital. Then when the time comes, you only have to put in personal items. Your doctor will have told you of false labor, how you may in the last two weeks or so feel a form of cramps or tightening. This is false labor if it comes at irregular intervals and varies in intensity. When you've timed the labor contractions and found them coming in a regular pattern for two or three hours, you've called your doctor. He's advised you when to come to the hospital, and now's the time. With preparations made well ahead and a knowledge of the stages of labor, you're ready for your visit to hospital. Most hospitals like to have the admission records of maternity patients some time in advance. This simplifies matters, both for the hospital and for you. Knowing through your doctor that you are on your way, preparations to look after you will have started, and your doctor will be on hand to look after you in labor and delivery. He will be able to take advantage of the latest developments in equipment and technique to help make the birth of your baby easier and safer. Once you're in the maternity ward, it's just a matter of checking your name and your doctors against the records and answering a few questions. You'll begin to feel that there are many people who are now interested in you and who are prepared to help you. Your husband will have to wait a while to see you, but meanwhile, if it's your first time in a hospital, you'll be occupied in looking around at this city within a city as you move through its corridors. And a friendly word from the nurse will make you feel more at home as you go to the labor room. In modern hospitals, there are quite often single rooms, and often the husband is allowed to visit his wife there. But first, you are undressed and put to bed. Your doctor will give the orders for your preparation and perhaps for an enema. As soon as you get settled in bed, you'll be asked some questions to help find out how you are progressing in labor. You'll get to know your nurses and begin to realize how helpful they can be and how competent they are. Your blood pressure will be recorded regularly until after your baby is born. And your contractions will be timed at regular intervals. They will usually be coming closer together until the birth of your baby. You'll be watched over very carefully and made as comfortable as possible. They will also listen frequently to the baby's heartbeat to find out how he is coming along. All this information will be given to your doctor and he will examine you, including a rectal examination. Meanwhile, there is nothing for you to do but wait, and it may seem like a very long time. No one can tell whether labor is going to be fast or slow. Many factors influence its progress. While you and your husband wait, the delivery room is being prepared. 
Various things are being done in different parts of the hospital to provide for you and your baby. Nurses will be looking in on you all the time as well as checking on the progress of labor. You won't be moved from the labor room until you're in an advanced state of labor. Then you'll be wheeled to the delivery room in the same bed. Here, you move over from your stretcher bed to the delivery table. At each side is a hand grip for you to hold on to when you need it, and a restraint is available if necessary, to prevent you from hurting yourself. Again, your blood pressure will be checked and contractions timed. The baby's heartbeat will also be checked and watched throughout. Equipment for an anesthetic is standing by. Your doctor will decide on its use. At the lower end of the table are the stirrups that hold your feet and your legs in the right position for delivery. The people who look after you in the delivery room have been through it all many times. The overhead lights are focused to help the doctor to see his work. The doctor will attend you for the final stages of labor, but he and the nurses will not know exactly how long it will take. They will ask you to help by pushing and by special breathing and the anesthetic will be all ready if it is needed. You will be happy but tired when the baby has finally come into the world, but you will want to see your baby. Some hospitals allow you to hold him right away. All hospitals take steps to make sure your baby is properly identified as yours. You will both leave the delivery room wearing wristbands with identical numbers, so there will be no mistake. tense and anxious time for the baby's father is now over, and besides, he wants to know what his baby looks like, too. After your time in the delivery room, you will be taken to an area for close observation. Here you will spend about an hour, carefully watched, 
as your body begins to adjust itself. You're not pregnant now. Again, your blood pressure, heart rate, and temperature will be watched. You will be felt, prodded, and inspected. While nothing is expected to happen, this room is just a convenient place to watch you for the first hour or so after delivery. Soon you will be in your own room. Mild exercises to help you regain your trim figure are one of many kinds of helpful advice you will receive here. They will remind you how important it is to eat well and take care with your diet to build yourself up. They will encourage you to get lots of rest, and they will discourage too many visitors so that you'll get adequate rest. Your doctor will see you every day. First, he will want you to get the best out of the hospital food, which is carefully chosen to give you what you need. And it will be for him to let you know when you can go home. When the day comes and the new arrival is about to begin his life as a member of your family, the hospital will have done many things to help prepare you for your coming responsibilities. Before the final step of removing the identification bands, you may have attended special classes such as many maternity hospitals provide on how to look after the baby and yourself. Very soon, you will be doing everything for him. You will have plenty of time to get to know him well. But until you leave, the hospital is responsible. Its staff are dedicated people who want you to look forward to your new role and your new life and to enjoy it. For three hours, you've called your doctor. He's advised you when to come to the hospital and now's the time. With preparations made well ahead and a knowledge of the stages of labor, you're ready for your visit to hospital. Most hospitals like to have the admission records of maternity patients some time in advance. This simplifies matters, both with clothes to bring him home in and everything that you'll need in the hospital. Then, when the time comes, you only have to put in personal items. Your doctor will have told you of false labor, how you may, in the last two weeks or so, feel a form of cramps or tightening. This is false labor if it comes at irregular intervals and varies in intensity. 
When you've timed the labor contractions and found them coming in a regular pattern for two for the hospital and for you, knowing through your doctor that you are on your way, preparations to look after you will have started and your doctor will be on hand to look after you in labor and delivery. He will be able to take advantage of the latest developments in equipment and technique to help make the birth of your baby easier and safer. Hospital will be of great help to you and your baby. If you follow your doctor's recommendations on feeding and baby care, you'll have a healthy, happy baby. And if you continue with the proper diet, exercises, and rest, you'll be able to enjoy your baby and the pleasure in being a mother. Well before the baby is due, pack a suitcase. Here's a newcomer to the world. He'll soon be on his way home, your home. In a few days, when you and your husband are taking him with you, he'll be all yours to love and care for. Now, all the directions which your doctor gave you and the classes which you may have attended during your pregnancy are proving their value during your stay in hospital. When you return home and take over as a full-time mother, the things which you have learned in 